Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a closer look at the new disk management tool available in the settings app starting with Windows 10 build 2197 in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. Although the operating system already has a tool to manage disks and volumes, it is an all experience part of the control panel. As you can see right here, this is the all experience. The new experience has built from the ground up with modern improvement and to better integrate with the storage settings. The new tool is available through the storage settings under the manage disks and volumes. In the page, the tool shows all the drives connected to your computer with basic information, such as the disk number, media type, such as SSD, and whether if the drive is online or offline. You can select each drive and then click in the properties button will take you to another page, which can give you a little more information, such as the capacity, the type. You also have the advanced disk properties, which that opens more information about the drive, but using the control panel experience. You also can see the status and the partition style, which in this case is the GUI partition table or GPT. We can also expand the disks to see all the available partitions. We can select each of the partitions and we can also see its properties. For example, inside of this partition, we can see the label, drive letter, the file system, which in this case is NTFS, the status. We get an option to change the label, which as you can see right here, the current label is Windows 10. So we can change the label for that and just use Windows. And we can also change the drive letter from this section, but we're using the SSD drive, so we can change it. We can also see the size of the drive and the data usage. If you want to shrink or expand the drive, you can click the change size button and then just specify the new size for the partition. Click OK and it will resize that partition for you. There is a view usage option, but that will just take you to, to the storage usage settings page. From the partitions page, we can also allow access to the volume using the NTFS path. So if you want to add that, you can click here and add the path. And you can also turn on BitLocker if the version of Windows 10 that you have support that, that encryption feature. Also for the purpose of this video, I connected an external hard drive to the computer that doesn't have any partitions. As you can see, it shows that the drive has all the space and allocated. And because of that, we're going to see a button to create a volume. And from here, you can just select the settings that you want to use for that particular drive. So we're gonna use my data for the label, E for the drive letter, NTFS for the file system, but you can switch that to another file system. And I'm just going to leave all the defaults. And you can also click the advanced button to access different options, including the, the one to perform a quick format, which usually does the one you want to use and to enable file and folder compression, if that's something that you want. Now we click format. And now we have created a new partition, but it seems that it's not working correctly at this time because it shows that the partition is raw and that it's not labeled, which we actually specify on the settings to create a volume. So, but if we click the properties button, we can click the format button again. And here we can specify the label again and just click format. And this time we'll actually use the appropriate file system and the label. As you can see, now we have a label and we have the file system. At any time, you can actually delete the partition and we'll go back to the beginning. Let me just do this really quick. Now, if you want to change the letter, as I showed you before, we can click the change label and just use a different label. Because we're not using the C drive, we can click the change drive letter and use a different letter. And also we can change the size. Let's say 25 gigabytes. So if we change the size, now we can go back. And as you can see, now we have an additional unallocated space. So we can continue creating more volumes 
on that drive. And actually this time it formatted with NTFS, which shows that this feature is still under development and it's not working correctly at this time. And that was a closer look to the new disk management tool available in the settings app starting with Windows 10 build 2197. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.